And so they said, well, we're going to send you to the City Literary Institute. And I said, well, no, I'm you know, it's a bit above my pay grade there. But I went there, and for God knows how I passed. I went to the London School of Economics. Yeah. Um, got a degree. Yeah, well done. And then somebody left it on a bus. And I got... It's more than I've got. <laughs> Are you serious? But you went to Dulwich. I think, I think, I, no, I went straight to work. I went straight to work. I didn't do university. I went straight to work. And I had no intention of ever getting into politics. Was it anything you'd ever thought about? Well, no, but, but hang on a second. You went to the same school as Raymond Chandler and P.G. Woodhouse. I know, I know. Although if they were alive, they'd say we went to the same school. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about that. But, yeah. no, I went straight to the world of work. That's what I chose yeah, to do. Yeah, but you were metal straight, didn't you? I was, yeah. I went, Is that I'm... like a scrap metal merchant? Uh, it was a little bit more... It was easier than that. It was easier than that. It was in London and wearing suits, you yeah, know. Okay. But, Stephen, yeah. you finish up. Yeah. You finish up, yeah. and you've had this sort of blooding with the union yeah. and all the things. Yeah. You finish up as a member of Parliament. Yeah. <laughs> and you spend 22 years there as a member of Parliament. I mean, you started off with a little joke about it. What do you make of most MPs? It's difficult because, I mean, you put your... The some and some, yeah, obviously, yeah, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, the majority of MPs, amazingly, and this may seem counterintuitive, but they are actually motivated by a desire to make things better. There are some who are the most venal, idle, entitled so-and-sos you'll ever meet on God's green earth. And it's, you know, they've eaten rifles, you know, down the House of Commons in your brand new shoes. There are some people who absolutely feel they're born to it. It's amazing how many MPs are either cousins or aunts or grandmothers, well, you know, related to... Yeah other MPs. And Nigel... Is that, and that's on I mean, both sides of the House. Oh, good God, yes, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah there's plenty of public school boys. I mean, when I came into the House, we had three old Etonian Labour MPs. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. You know, probably more than there were on the other side. But, uh, <laughs> no, I mean, it's interesting because I, when I was a councillor back where I'm in Ealing, and it was back, back, in the, back in the 80s, and I just felt really angry that the investment wasn't coming into the schools, all things. And I just thought, you know, if you're going to do something, basically there's two sorts of people in life. There's the people who sit on the sofa and have a moan. And the people who say, well, bugger this, I'm going to do something. Mm. And I felt I've actually had to go and do something. And um, it was, <sighs> that, you know, it's a bit like you. You, know, you. you come into politics not because you want a, an easy ride, because you want to change the flipping system. Absolutely. But mind you, you're much more radical than me now, I have to say. Much more. In what way? You want to abolish the House of Lords? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm almost a leveller now. Yeah, hang on a second. They, they offered you the House of Lords. Yeah, no, you're right. Actually, Stephen, you are right. For me, actually, for me, and you're right, I came into politics, yeah. I thought the European thing was the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. Now we've done it, I'm a real radical. Yeah, I want you, to you also it. want to bring in proportional representation, don't you? Oh, I think the first Alternative part, vote. Or... I th do you know what? I think the first past the post system is bankrupt mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. We're not really voting, Stephen, in my opinion, for MPs for a constituency. Mm -hmm. We're voting for or against party leaders. Mm -hmm. That connection, I think, has been lost.